Let's go, boy. Okay then.
Hamish. Arthur! <laughs> Come in. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. Ooh -wee. <laughs> what have we here? Yeah, she's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left, around the lake. Down here somewhere. You with me? Come on. Come on. Wolves shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now. This way. Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Damn! I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. Mew loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Whoa, 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 whoa. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. <laughs> yep. That was her dinner. <laughs> now, where'd she get to? I guess. She's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we go. 
gotta chase her. Let's chase her. All right. Come on. through the scrub. Better to be on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, boy. There's a wolf about. You went in there, all right. We got a tracker. Now you want to take the lead, or shall I? Come on. I'd prefer if you did it. That's all right. Okay, I'll track her. Stick to me. Got the trick. This way. Keep behind me. Let's take this slow. Keep your gun out, just in case. mile in front of us or behind that next bush keep your eyes up okay I got mine in the dirt My complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. <laughs> huh? Goddamn! Over here! Over here! Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. <sighs> we could speak the stories he tell. Boy. Look 
kind of wolf you gotta be to get this big. You don't want to involve yourself with this. Hey, get yourself out of there. Easy, easy.
Oi, here. Yep, yep, come on. Yep. Let's get. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Can't wait to taste this. I know supplies are low. Thank you. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. How you feeling about Molly? I'm feeling she got exactly what she deserved.
Mr. Morgan. Miss Grimshaw. You okay? <clears throat> sure. Mr. Bell seems to have found a couple of men he knows. They're sitting over there. Really? Dutch seems fine with it, but it feels odd to me. Yes. Very odd. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn! Mr. Morgan! Charles! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me! Ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son. My last son. Don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, have to help me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people, will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles? Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about? Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Hey, that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Pimbuktu? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I 
have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Need help. Quick, somebody help no. him. No, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on! Gotta help these men. Can anyone see Eagle Flash? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah!
Mrs. Adler. Mrs. Adler? We should get moving. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get to the factory building. This war is just beginning. Kill these sons of bitches! Kill them, sons of bitches! Kill all these sons of bitches!
so good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. The state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. It's that door at the end on the right. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. dollars worth maybe more <laughs> oh we are nearly there Arthur we're nearly there mr. Morgan let's go home let's get out of here Arthur Mine for yours. 
It's as it should be. Come on. We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job... <coughs> well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Will I? No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to Wapiti as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch? Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... Some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us that to be. Hey, wait up! Where are you off to? friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless, always has been. This won't be a vain. We will try to round up more men from the north, wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No, this is over for all of us. Peta. Yes. Peta. It's okay, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. Whoa! Come on! Don't die, brother! Not yet. Bring him to me.
Others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we we must pack and move. Aber 